Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to West of Loathing. Alright. I don't remember at all what we were doing, but... I guess that's what Doc Alice is for. What do we got here? An old hat shop? Yeah, funny place for a bandit hideout. Literally all hat and no cattle. <laughs> Ride this puzzle. about that hat. I like that they say, oh no, he's back. Hmm. I might just come back and do this later. It's a great deal of stuff that I can do. Uh, this was apparently the demo model from a player piano showroom. Only got three songs, all children versions, children's versions of traditional songs in the recently invented public domain, and they're all set to play the first few seconds on a loop. The people who worked here must have hated it. What do you want to do? The Yellow Rose of Public Domain, My Old Public Domain Home, or Public Domain Joe? You changed the song of the piano. Is that whistling you hear? They didn't get up. Also, I just clicked the wrong button, I guess. Don't put it away too soon, dude. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> All right, good. Only took me a little bit of screwing around. Liners. We'll come back to you. This one has the one miscolored hat, which is nice. But in this room, the hats all match. And I can't see any noticeable difference. Wait. The dent of this one is wrong. So does that mean that the liner of this one will be wrong? Hmm. I mean, I could just use good old trial and error. Eventually I'll have to get it right. I saw that. Don't think I didn't. What do you think we should do next? Smeet the railroad check. We need dynamite. Goblins at Gustafsson Gulch stole it. Any other ideas? Broken leg pills to the guy in the street. And the El Vibrato scrap. Let's turn them in. 
you march the Black Hat Bandits back to the old Dirtwater Jail on the end of a rope and lock them in the town jail. Where'd you find them? That old millinery? Yep. Of course. You know, bandits would be a lot harder to find if they didn't keep picking such thematic hangouts for some reason. Anyway, here's your reward. All in a day's work. Damn. Got hella meat now. Just wanted to say hi. Hi. Well, I best be getting back to work. All right. Thanks again, mister. Broken leg pills. Hello, were you able to get broken leg pills? Without them, I'm stuck lying here on the street. Here you go. Thanks. I feel like a new man again. Or at least the same man with a new leg. That's good. Hey, drink, go drink some milk or something, okay? Well, that was nice. Hmm. That's some good amount of money right there. What should we do next? Other ideas? Potemkin Gang. Saltpeter from Fort Cowardice. Temkin gang. Right, we can just go to the map. Fort Cowardice, that's something. Dynamite Dan. Full Ridge Mine. I do really love the name Rescue Mission. Your Elva Barrow transponder starts making that bleeping noise that means treasure or a monster is nearby. It's a monster. Nuts. It doesn't seem to have noticed you. What are you? Let's buff myself. And then let's debuff you. Thirty-four damage. <laughs> Elvabrata scraps. I guess that's what we get for upgrading her and then debuffing our our guy. When life gives you cannons, make a cannon aid. That's funny. Climb into the watchtower and take a look around. Nice view from up here. Administration. Uh, it warned us that these are really boring, and then it was like, no, I want to read them, though. It's like, fine, all right. Becky Smith, secretary, pay grade C3, B514, born uh, May 14th, 1840, died... My God, that's today. It's the day I'm recording it, but... Uh, died February 10th, 1864, so she was 24. Missed 86, 89 days and accrued 06 days. Major Ezra Wolf II, 66 Bean Slinger Division. Uh, blood, blood type B. Plus. Wounded in action. Now you're just looking through all the same ones you read before. What's wrong with you? I can't get enough. This was once a reception desk, but now the most appropriate thing for it to receive would be a. Free trip to the dump. In general, this is a door. More specifically, it's a door to the, to the general's office. More specifically, it's the locked door to the general's office. Bless this mess. Military grade whiskey and hard tack. A shaker of saltpeter. Little green unlabeled jars. Hopefully, this is the stuff the chef was looking for. Saltpeter is not, strictly speaking, salt. You hear the sounds of several goblins snoring in the tent. We could kill them if we, uh, or we could talk to them if we had a, um... <laughs> ah, you're a moxious goblin. That means that you have the... 
You have Moxie. That's fine. I can trade hits with you. For a little bit. Ooh! You've heroically defeated the sleeping goblins guarding their beds. Stain cot. And unlike Foot Locker, I guess that makes it a footer. Silver bullet and chemical bullet. The lock on this one rusted away to nothing. Army field trauma kit. Math tent. Ah, because of the plus on the outside, that's funny. Based on the papers and anatomical diagrams scattered across the surface, you're guessing this desk belongs to belonged to Fort Cowardice's nurse. The papers are mostly boring medical records, dental daguerreotypes, lamentations that antibiotics haven't been discovered, that kind of thing. But what's this? This looks important. Marching orders. And a bunch of disgusting drawings of sliced open bodies. Sorry, there's something making a noise in the apartment. The shelf still has some unlooted medical supplies on it. Rendered them looted. Controlled substances. This is, must be where they store the really effective stuff. Safe crack in one, huh? That's not too high. I don't even have that as a class skill, though, so... It's alright. Sign says toilet and goblin, which makes it seem likely that goblins use this tent as a toilet. No way are you going in there. Goblin worth toilet on this. This mishap definitely got somebody fired. And a usually sized cannonball. Woof, it's heavy. A demi culverin cannonball. Made it fit into a demi culvert, a cannon with a bore of 10 centimeters. No demi less, no demi more. Interesting. This is, an, this is a set of army marching orders from before all of the army's marching orders were march back east far as your liver, lily livered little yellow bellied feet can go, you damnable cowards. Uh, directing a rifle division to Fort Alden far north of dirt water. Not doing anyone good now. You tear them into little pieces and throw them away. Take that, future historians. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, now what? Fort Cowardice, Gustafsson Gulch. Let's do Gustafsson's Gulch after this. Let's take a look at this. You notice a campsite off in the distance that appears to have been a comprehensively trampled to ruin. Let's go there now. Why not? Knapsack has taken a lot of abuse recently. Uh, most of the contents are trash from being stomped on. You find a dented can of potted meat. The knapsack has a knife strapped to the side, but you don't see the knife anywhere. A knife sheath strapped to the side. This has been stomped on and kicked. Someone was serious about fire safety. This tent is a whole mess. It looks like it was trampled by a whole herd of cows. Something odd about it, though. Uh, a more thorough inspection reveals dusty boot prints on it. Cows don't typically wear boots. Ow, dang it. Yeah, because you think this used to be a person? What a mess. Cows that did this to a guy? I reckon so, judging from these tracks. But, hmm... What's wrong? Some about ain't right. They aren't spaced out right, and they're uneven. What does that mean? I'd say either the cow that made these tracks was drunk, or one or the cow that made them. There are cow tracks leading away from a mangled corpse. Probably wouldn't be hard to follow them. Since you have reason to believe the tracks may be a fake, you could follow them or head in the opposite direction. I'll follow them for now. Follow them for a hundred yards, but they stop suddenly. Nothing of interest nearby. Oh, is that my only chance? Damn. Saddlebag slung over a tree. You find a pair of saddlebags slung over a tree. Stencil letter on the side, read property of Fort Alded Library. 
full of books, mostly boring field manuals. There's one of specific interest to you, though. Advanced Beancraft, Volume 6. Cool. Let's read that before I do anything. The Old Bean. Wary. Great Northern Blizzard. I like Wary. Skill Wary. You narrow your eyes and burn the book. I didn't trust it. So we have max AP. Dang. That's pretty good. I think Tales of the Abyss is actually starting to use the... Tales of the... The Tales of series, which includes Tales of the Abyss, is starting to use the same system where, like, you reset after every fight. Like, every fight you get filled up full on, on magic. I think. That's what a friend told me. Uh, which I love. You know, I like the classic RPG, like, slog stuff of, like, you know, go through it, be conservative and careful with your magic. You know, I love Final Fantasy 1, which is, like, be real careful with your magic, though. Um, but I do like it when they just reset it and they're like, hey, just every fight is fresh. Every fight can be fought from zero. You know, there's n nothing from the previous fight will change anything about the next one, and vice versa. I like that. It also means you get to use your cool stuff. However, that does mean that every individual move has to be weaker. Because if you could cast a spell to get you out of this fight, but then they would burn all of your mana and you didn't have any for the next six fights until you could rest or you would have spent a really rare item to get it back, well then you would never be able to cast that in a game like that. It would be so unbalanced. But, you know, it's certainly interesting. Uh, there's a row of lockers here. It must be used for storing the personal effects of the fellows that used to work this mine. Ellsbury, MW, doesn't have a lock. The second one is covered in white goo. And Ben Luce's locker has combination lock. Ellsbury's helmet and a bottle of laudanum. Yes. A skeleton covered in the same white goo. Ah, uh, you get it. Guy must have died after the lockers played a prank on him when they stuffed him in the locker and filled it with shaving cream. I can't believe you dang jerk stuffed me in my locker and filled it with shaving cream. I died from that, yells the skeleton, confirming your insight and murderous and his vengeful murderous intent. A shaving cream covered skeleton. Nice. I love that the bean is just like a, it has a little angry face on it. It's cute. Damn. Well, he's not suffering anymore and his bones are really clean. Handful of loose teeth and skull chips. And a skeleton bone. Plus two armor versus plus one mysticality. Eh, I'll keep the mysticality. 